So if you didn't know, I live off campus in a house, and one of the things that happens in houses is that the shower drain clogs when hair and soap scum gets it and stuff, and that has been happening kind of progressively over the last two years that I've lived in this house, but this weekend it suddenly just completely came to a standstill, and it was nowhere near that point, so I guess it reached some critical mass or something, but our landlord came in the other day to change the air filters, and so I told him, hey, our shower drain is completely clogged, and I've done everything that I can to unclog it, and it doesn't seem to be working, and he tried a few goes with the plunger and that did not work either so then he said he would call his resident handyman who subsequently made an appointment to be at our house at 10 o'clock in the morning on Monday. Now this would have been a perfectly normal exchange if it were not for the fact that on Monday morning when I was taking my shower at like 6 in the morning I came out and decided you know for good measure that I would give it a few more goes at the plunger and it didn't yield anything except a few little bits of hair and so I was just like whatever the landlord's handyman is gonna be here and I didn't think it was a big deal so I went off to finish packing my lunch and I brushed my teeth and went through the rest of my morning routine and just as I was about to walk out the door I hear these three huge groans like it sounded like someone had started a lawnmower or something in our house and I thought that it was my room roommates snoring or something. They don't have a habit of snoring, but you never know. With a snore this loud, something's wrong. But the weird thing was that I started hearing this water draining sound and I was like, wait, is that the shower clearing out? So I went into the bathroom and I looked in the drain and it was completely empty. All the water from my shower, which was above my ankles, had suddenly just disappeared. So of course the logical conclusion is that there's an animal in my pipe and if you take this conclusion further it can only be that there was a snake living in the pipe because what else lives in a pipe? And therefore it stands to reason that it was a basilisk living in the pipe which I am glad that I did not look at. However I had to run off to school and did not have the time to tell anybody that they should let the plumber know that there was a basilisk in our pipe and that he should only look down the pipe with a mirror if he wants to protect his life. And he didn't do that. So now there's this huge dead body in the basement that we don't really know what to do with. I assume that if I hissed at the bathroom sink, I could probably open some sort of secret chamber. There is a little bit of our house missing behind the fireplace, and that may be where the basilisk lies, and then I would be able to have a place to put the dead body, but unfortunately I don't speak parcel tongue. So really what I'm asking you guys is do you know of any online course that I can use to speak parcel tongue? Because the Rosetta Stone unfortunately does not have a parcel tongue edition. Oh yeah, and uh, don't let the fellas at Azkaban know about this, please. 